And this is our 2012 Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, 2012 was a, a really strong year, but quite an interesting year. We had the, the coldest summer on record for 80 years, which gave us a decrease in yield. Uh, it's quite cold during flowering and set, so about a 25% yield decrease. But at the same time, even though we had a very cold summer, we had one of the sunniest, most stable autumns that we've had for about 20 years. And I think we were lucky in one sense that we did have low yields in terms of actually getting fruit ripeness, otherwise Marlborough would have been in trouble. But the years produce some, I think, wines with fantastic concentration, good intensity of aroma, and fantastic acid structure, and this wine's no exception. Um, lovely lifted aromas, um, sort of high tone tropical fruits, a good core of limey citrus and nectarine, and then pushing down into some of those grassy sort of mineral tones, which is also um, what Sauvignon is about. And we've always chosen to, to focus the core of the flavours around the citrus and nectarine um, spectrum of flavour. Wines that uh, I think that are too ripe tend to become a little one-dimensional and overly tropical and lack a bit of focus and freshness. If you're too lean and mean and too green, the wines become a little bit searing and I think um, a little unyielding. So that little space there in the middle in terms of flavour window is where we want to be playing. And it all comes down to canopy management and then timing of picking. And Sauvignon would be the variety that is the least forgiving in terms of your picking date of any of the grapes that we're working with in Marlborough. We often say you've got a three day window to be out there getting it right. Um, too early, you're gonna be a little bit too green. Too ripe, you're gonna have missed the boat. And it's not about sugar levels, it's all about paying attention to the, the flavors in each, in each block. Um, and then the winemaking plays sort of second fiddle to, to what's happening in the vineyard. So this is a, a wine that definitely is made in the vineyard. It's about your viticultural canopy management, your, your picking, and then also your sites. Our sites are all on quite bony, lean soils, and I think that does give us a sort of natural tension in the wine, a nice fineness to the acid structure. Um, there's some producers who focus on quite big silty pockets in the region, which tend to produce uh, I think sort of fatter, rounder, richer wines. We've always been chasing tight and, and mineral. And the last three years I've run about 4% as barrel ferment, which I don't think you'll see in the wine. But these wines are quite directional. It's all about the, the acid spine in the wine. And that little bit of barrel ferment's quite good at wrapping some flesh around that, that acid spine, and giving the wine, I wouldn't say, texture, but I think it gives it a little bit more presence in the mouth, a really subtle, subtle sort of mouthfeel effect.